Okay, so I thought it would be fun to do just a real brief review um, of my gear before I throw it out uh, based on the crash. So I, uh, as you can see, the R1 is coming together over there. I low sighted the R1 several months ago, going about 70 miles an hour, and lost the back end in the apex of a turn. Um, stuck the bike into a concrete gutter and a dirt embankment. That was a fun time. Uh, ended up in the ER. And so you can see kind of the result of how motorcycle gear holds up. Um, now this is the Alpine Star. Uh, I think it's the, I believe this was the TGP Air Plus jacket. It's a textile jacket. <clears throat> I went down on my right side, so you can see this is where I first impacted ripped open the jacket. The, um, see the road rash there. Uh, the, the armor, which I've since taken out, uh, the armor did its job, protected my collarbone and my shoulder. Um, you can see it, the jacket was ripped open pretty well there. Um, and then I, this is where I, uh, I'm not sure, I didn't really injure my right wrist. Uh, I did injure my left wrist, but it was from an impact more than anything else, but you can see. Uh, the armor did stay in, <clears throat> did do a pretty good job of protecting me. I tumbled once, as I recall. Uh, it didn't hurt my back or anything, so that was good. Uh, jacket is obviously a write-off, but that's okay. Uh, it did its job. <clears throat> and uh, protected me, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. And I've actually ordered several more Alpine Stars jackets from Riders Discount, so they're on their way. <coughs> I ordered the Adam uh, leather jacket, uh, and also the, uh, I think it's the TGPR jacket. Might be R Air. I can't remember. It's the this is the this one was the 219 version, and then the Air one or the G or the TGPR, uh, whatever it is, is the 249 one that they have on their website, uh, which just has a same deal but just has a removable liner. So, um, <coughs> and then I had I happen to be wearing some Alpine Star leather gloves, which I've I've had these for five years. Bought them at the local motorcycle shop for you know 89 bucks or something. Uh, this is my right one. You can see it. It did a, a suitable job of protecting my knuckles. So did this one. But uh, as I mentioned in my other videos, I, I broke my my hand and wrist in four places, and it wasn't really the sliding that got me. It was whatever I hit, which I or when I flipped over and, and my wrist hit into the pavement during the tumble. And some people say, oh, you know, you should have just slid and gotten on your back and done all these fancy things. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that might work in some cases, but when you're sliding up a hill and you suddenly are off the bike on your shoulder, you don't really have time to do anything. Uh, and particularly when you're going up a hill, what happens is you don't slide. you tumble. So, and once you start tumbling, you are fucked. Um, <coughs> excuse my French, but uh, there's not much you can do except just wait until you come to a stop. So, uh, that's, if you'd see my other videos, the, I bought the held German made gloves, which have a lot more protection for the wrist. Um, I, I'll never wear gloves like this again after experiencing a crash in them. I mean, they you know, the knuckles are cool and everything, but the lack of wrist support and protection is just ridiculous. So, um, from now on, it's only a gauntlet gloves and probably only held gloves. Uh, my beloved Shark RSR2 helmet bit the dust. As you can see, I've since gutted it. Uh, quite a bit of carbon fiber. I mean, the whole thing is carbon fiber and uh, super hard. Uh, shell. I took it all apart, uh, but you can see kind of where it scraped along uh, the road there. And uh, 
I, I didn't sustain any head injuries. Um, however, I do think I sustained a concussion from hitting the uh, concrete or the dirt embankment because I was almost knocked out. Um, I was dazed from the accident. I, I remember I ended up by the bike and then I got up and climbed above the bike because I was worried fuel might be leaking down the hill in the dark and I might catch on fire. And then I kind of zoned out and the next thing I remember a car was coming and I had to drag myself out of the road because I thought that'll be fantastic as I'll get run over on top of crashing. And then in the ER I almost blacked out so I think I did sustain a concussion. Um, <clears throat> I didn't mention that to the people in the ER because I didn't want to be kept overnight. But luckily, I didn't. I didn't have any swelling of the brain or anything like that. And and I have to give a lot of credit to the helmet because uh, I hit, as you can see, uh, I, I slid pretty hard, and um, I think uh, that might be where I hit something. I'm not really sure, but the helmet shell remained intact which I was very pleased about. Um, also, the three millimeter visor was, the mounting point on the right side was torn completely off, uh, but the left side managed to hold the visor in place. Um, so it paid off having that thicker, um, thicker three millimeter visor. <coughs> uh, anyway, so I, had, I purchased a new uh, shark helmet and uh, some new Alpine Stars gear, and then the uh, held gloves that you, as you saw. Oh shoot, I don't have my boots out here. Um, I broke my left toe, and I was wearing Timberland boots when I crashed, and 501 jeans. Uh, the jeans, of course, provide absolutely no protection. The Timberlands, um, they don't, they didn't stand up very well to the road and they actually ground down to my toe. So I bought some Alpine Stars, uh, I think it's Super Tech R racing boots. Um, I also picked up some Kevlar lined jeans. Um, gear's supposed to be here in a few more days, so when everything shows up, I'll, maybe I'll do a little review of that. But uh, like I said, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of assess the damage to the gear I had on for anyone who might be curious. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, as always, uh, feel free to post them in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching.